You're watching Plant Identification Through Personal Investigation with Angeline Whitmire. This plant portrait is for common milkweed, Asclepius syriaca. Native to northern and central North America, common milkweed grows two to six feet tall in old fields, along roadsides, and within waste places. It's easy to find the early spring shoots of common milkweed, if you know where it grew the previous year. You'll probably find it next to last year's dead stalks, which may still be upright, or which may have fallen to the ground. One or more shoots may grow from the root buds. New shoots grow some distance from the parent plant, popping up from the spreading underground rhizome. If a stalk is mowed down, a strong plant persists in growing its new stalk. As the weeks go by, the common milkweed plant grows taller and taller. A healthy habitat produces a colony of plants after several years. If we look down onto a young plant, the leaves look as if they might have a whorled arrangement. However, from the side of the plant we can see that the leaves are not whorled at all. Rather, they grow opposite each other. Each new pair of leaves grows at a right angle to the pair below it. This is referred to as a decussate arrangement. Here's another view of the decussate leaf arrangement. Another top-down view. See how the pairs of leaves grow at right angles to each other? Notice that the central vein on this plant is red-toned. As the plant grows taller, the stalk becomes quite strong. Most field guides refer to common milkweed's hairy stem. This particular colony has smooth stems. Observe how the leaf is connected to the stalk. Each leaf has a relatively short and strong petiole. The petiole must be strong enough to support the large leaf blade, which can be up to 10 inches long. Notice this leaf's central vein is white. Venation is pinnate. The leaf margin is entire, which means it is smooth. The blade tip may be somewhat pointed, or the tip may be more rounded. The overall leaf shape is oblong. The underside of the leaf is a lighter shade of green, and that central vein is quite prominent. Even the side veins are raised. See how the newest leaves grow upwards until they become larger and drop downwards, stretching out to be nearly perpendicular to the stalk and parallel to the ground. Common milkweed keeps growing new leaves from the top of the stalk. When the plant is tall enough, those new center leaves enfold the developing flower buds, which you can just begin to see within these backlit leaves. Looking down onto the top of the plant, see how the small flower buds are growing within the final sets of new leaves. As the buds grow larger, they begin to peek out and hang down from the topmost leaves. There may be more than one inflorescence, or group of flowers, growing from the top. The inflorescence has its own stalk, which is called a peduncle. Within the inflorescence, the individual flower buds grow larger. They look like they are incised with lines in a star shape. Each flower bud has its own small stalk, which is called a pedicel. These common milkweed flower buds are green with red sepals. Maturing flower buds change from their young green color to a ripening rose color. This close-up view of some buds shows the green sepals along with the underside of rose-colored petals. Some of the flower buds in this inflorescence are beginning to open. Observe how the flower's five petals 
reflex backwards, while the innermost portion, the crown of the flower, reveals its specialized parts. The fragrant flowers within the inflorescence open at different times. Pulling back from the individually opening flowers, we can see the entire group. The common milkweed inflorescence shape is referred to as an umbel. This means all the flower pedicels arise from a central point. This lovely inflorescence is in its peak blooming phase. Each umbel can be up to four inches in diameter, while each flower is about one half inch across. If the common milkweed plant has several years of growth in its history, it will probably have several inflorescences, some of which grow from the upper leaf axils, while others grow from the top. The flower clusters ripen from the bottom of the plant toward the top. After their robust blooming phase, the flower pedicels weaken somewhat and the flowers begin drooping. Notice the color of the pedicels, which in this instance matches the color of the leaves' central veins. Let's take a close look at the common milkweed flower and its typical parts. Milkweed flowers have a central crown divided into five hoods. The hood curves around the more sharply pointed horn. One of the petals has yet to reflex back from the rest of this flower. The flower styles, a part of the female aspect of the reproduction team, are united into a central disc. See how the horns emerge from the hoods? Check out those reflexed petals, the hoods, and the hairy pedicels. These flowers are a lighter pink, almost white in color. These flower hoods are cream colored. And these are changing color to a golden cream as the flowers begin to die. Watch how the flowers progressively die, shriveling up, turning brown, losing their dark brown petals. You have to look closely to search out the flowers which were successfully fertilized and which will now develop seed pods. They look like fuzzy light green nubs among the dried flowers. As the seed pods grow larger, they are easier to find and observe. Notice how the pod hangs down from the pedicel. These pods still have the dried flower on their tips. The pod grows larger and shifts from hanging down to a more upright position. The roughly textured exterior of the common milkweed pod looks spiny or warty or nubby. The pod eventually grows up to five inches long. After weeks of growth, with seeds maturing inside the pod, the pod dries up and turns gray or light brown. The seed pod then splits along a single seam. Let's open one of the pods. Tucked inside, in a tight overlapping arrangement, are up to 200 flat brown seeds. Each seed has a tuft of silky hair to assist with wind dispersal. Plant reproduction occurs through the seeds as well as through the rhizomes. A frequently discussed characteristic of common milkweed is its white sap. Any part of the plant is easily bruised. Once injured, the sap oozes out and drips from the stalk, from the leaves, or from the flower pedicels. In the fall, common milkweed leaves turn yellow before dropping to the ground. The stalk becomes brittle as it dries. It may fall to the ground with its seed pods. Or you may find the stalks upright throughout the winter months with dried seed pods still attached. There may even be a few seeds holding on for later dispersal. This is Angeline. Thank you for watching and learning about Asclepias syriaca, also known as common milkweed. 
visit identifythatplant.com for more images of common milkweed. For a blog post comparing four species of Asclepius. For plant identification resources. And for information about how you can confidently master the skill of correct plant identification.